Hi everyone, on the demand of my elder son Prajwal, uh, we are going to do a few uh, drawing classes. So we, start, we want to do a series of drawing classes this summer and uh, we are trying to learn from the basics. And so I will start it from now and Prajwal will be following me. You can see on the screen, other screen, where we will be uh, showing you both of our books. So to start the drawing, Prajal, you want to start? Yes? Yes. Hmm, okay. First you should know what or how to draw a straight line. First you try to draw a straight line. Okay. The problem is that what you are doing is you are holding your pencil and you are moving your hand. You should not move your hand. You should rest your hand okay, on the book and then only move your fingers and make a straight line like this. Try to do it. Yes. Even a longer line. Try a longer line. Draw it here. Draw it here. Okay. What you are doing is you are holding the pencil very tight. Hold it very loose. Very loosely. Don't. Okay. And don't even press it hard on the paper. Okay. Do it lightly like this. The first line which you are drawing should be very light and it should not be thick. You see the difference here? See here? It is somewhat thick. This is very sharp. sharp. Okay. Try to draw as sharp as possible when you are drawing the first lines. Draw again. Draw again. Slowly. No, no, no. You are pressing very hard. You are pressing very hard. You should not see. You should not hold your pencil like this. Hold it like this. Cross. Cross. Like this. Okay? It should be like this. Okay? You draw only here. If you have, don't have space. Okay. Now, you put your hand here. Let's sit on the table. Okay? Draw it lightly. Light, light, very light, very light, very light. Okay. Again, again, parallel. Is it okay? What you should do, things to remember is, don't handle the pencil like this straight, perpendicular to the paper. It should be slant. Okay? Like this. Don't press hard on the paper. Okay? It should be light. Like this. Try it again. Okay? Now, what is the next shape you should draw? Cube. Not the cube. Next shape should be a triangle, 2D, 2D ones, two dimensional which can be drawn on paper like triangle, you can draw a triangle. Don't press hard, you are pressing it hard again, hold the pencil like this, like this, like this, okay. Don't hold it here, hold it here, okay, two away from the nip, okay, the tip of the pencil should be far away, like this, okay, not near to that, okay. Yes. No, 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 you should know how to draw straight lines. That is very good, very good, very good. Okay. Draw another triangle, but do not this much thick, sharper. You, you use this pencil. You use this pencil. Okay. See. No. No, 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 no. You are pressing it again. Hold it here. Okay. Hold it here. Come here, draw it here. Draw it here, draw it here. You can put your hand on it and do it here. Okay. Draw another one, draw another one. Do you know how a straight line is made? How a straight line is made? Yes. How? A straight line is nothing but it is made up of so many points which are continuously put. Like you see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so many points put together makes a line. Okay. Does it not make a line? It's make a line. Mm, okay. 
Now, the next step you have to draw. What is the next step you want to see? How I am drawing? You should do row by row. Don't do arbitrarily. Okay? Come here. Next shape would be a circle. For a circle, no, no. What I said, you should hold the pencil away from the tip. Okay? Like this. See, when I may press my hand, the tip should touch the paper. paper. Okay? okay. Now, you just do like this. Okay. See, you have to sharpen it here like this and like this. Okay? Now, draw again. Draw again. Practice. Again, you have put... Uh, Still far away, still far away. Uh, no, you do. Okay, again. No. See, don't go too far away from your hand so that you can't make it a curve. The wrong you have done is that you have come too far. You should turn it from here. Like this. Okay. okay. See, you, your hand can move only this far. So don't go too far away from your hand so that you can't draw a full circle. Okay? What you have done? What the mistake you have done? See, when you are drawing, you have gone too far. Now you can't take a curve. This is not a circle now. Okay? Okay? You draw. You don't go too far from your hand. Okay. Now, if you want, right, very good. If you want to draw the circle perfectly, what you can do? You can draw a straight line first. Light one. No, no, no. Again, you are holding the pencil here. When you are drawing, you should hold always far away from the tip. Okay. Straight line, straight line. Draw a straight line. Draw under horizontal line. Okay. Make a circle like this. Again draw like this. And you just have to draw under one as equal. No. You have got an oval there. Why it is not a circle? Because this is the center point. The distance here is shorter than this one. This is long. This is long. This has become short. In a circle, all from the center, all the radius points are equal. So, what is to wait? Wait. Line like this. Line like this. Now, if I Okay. Length like this. Join those points. Slowly. Don't hold the pencil here. Okay. Next. No, no, no. It should come like this. It should come like this. We are going too far. See, for drawing a face, you need this kind of a setup where you have got one vertical line, one horizontal line, okay? One circle. How do you draw the face now? You, you want to change this to other face? Hold it here, hold the pencil here. You want to draw with this one? It's a longer one. Okay. How to draw? The ears would be here. So, go like this. Draw like this. Okay, okay. No, from here. I said draw lightly, not sharply. If you press it too hard, you can't erase afterwards. Now you can draw yes here. Okay. 
bigger ones, bigger ones. Okay? Your eyes should be here. Hold it far, hold it far. No, okay. No. Hmm. For smaller things, you can hold the pencil near, okay? For smaller things. But when you're drawing a bigger line and bigger triangle, you have to hold it far. When you're doing finer things, you should draw. hold it near, okay? Now, here comes the nose, okay? Draw a U here and a U here. No, not a bigger one. This should not be bigger ones. Okay. Okay, leave it, leave it. Now, Draw the hair. Okay. Okay. See, the hair should be out of the picture like this. Okay. Okay. Understood? Now you can sharpen the this thing as your wish. You can bring it inside. Okay. See like this. No, 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 no. See here how I'm doing it. Okay. You do it like this and then only lightly. Okay. Now erase these lines. So did you get a face? Yes. See, yes. since I have drawn it lightly, my picture will be neat. Then yours. Why? Because I have drawn the base lines. Base lines. Very lightly. Very. Okay. 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 Now, go for the neck. See, neck should be equally from both the sides, not here. From the chin, see your face is symmetrical, means half of the face is equal to the other half. So when you are drawing the neck from this side, it should be at the same distance as this one. Sit properly. Okay? Okay? The shape of lips are like this. Draw it here. Draw the lip shape. No, no. Draw it here. First in a slant line. And the slant line. Okay. B. Then join these two lines. Then a U. Okay. Draw like It should not be too, not like this. Yes, slant line like this. You are drawing like this. Not like this. Okay. Oh. 
Hold the pencil far. Hmm. Now draw. This is right. This is two. See. If you draw, this angle is too much. Here, if I draw, this angle is lesser. Okay. This is too much. You should draw like this. Not like this. Not here. Draw here. Draw here. See. How much is the angle? See. How much is it? Should be here. Like this. Smaller one. It's a horizontal line. Okay. It's not a nearly. You are drawing a nearly well like this. You are not drawing. You should not draw like that. You should draw like this. And like this. Draw parallel here. Parallel line. Hmm. Now join these two with a nearly straight line. Okay. Okay. This how you can draw is you first you draw these two. Okay. Then a small U, join these two. See, you first put a U. Okay. Then you join these two. If I erase this, you will get a lips. Okay. Okay. And to get more realistic, what you should do? You should draw lines like this. You should practice again to get this kind of shape. Okay. Now, with the circle, you draw a flower. A flower is made up of two circles. Okay. First inner circle and a outer circle. Outer circle. We also draw lines here. See, all the shapes, all the drawings are made up of. Circle, curved lines and straight lines. Okay, the basic shapes are circle and a straight line. Okay. Now what you should do? You draw here. You use this line. You use this circle or this circle. Draw horizontal and vertical lines. Draw a circle here, small circle. Okay. Now differentiate the inner circle into different. Draw those lines. Finish. Okay. Okay. Join here. Yeah. You are pressing too hard. Okay. This one joint as a sharp edge here. Okay. Next one. Next one. You should be curved, okay, like this. You should not be nice straight, okay. like this. Now, again. See, it, you are drawing it straight to this line. It should not be like that. It should be pointing like this. Okay, it should be pointing like this. The next one should be pointing where? One. You should point it so that it makes a half. Like this distance and this distance should be equal. So your point should be here. Here. Yeah. Uh, draw like that. Okay. Now you should, what you should do? You draw the remaining ones. Remaining. Okay. Fill it up, fill it up. Just 
slowly. Now, fill it up properly, Prashant, Pradhyar. Okay. Okay. Now you can fill these two as well, like this. Fill all the other ones. It should touch that. Yes, it should touch like this. Hmm. You should draw only one. Why are you drawing so many? Okay, do it fast, but neatly. It should touch this one as well. It should touch the circle. You want to draw again? See, I'll give the shape you draw here again. Okay? Okay. You want to draw here or here? Here. No, wait, 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 wait. First you do one thing. You just do, don't separate it right now. You do only these lines first. Or what you can do is, you can have, draw a similar line like this. It should be equal, okay? Very good. Hmm. Now you just start here and at this line. Okay. Do the same here. the same for that. too much. Now what you should do, if you want you can draw these lines and fill them again. Okay. You have to draw just straight lines between and just fill them again like this. Okay? No. Okay. No, 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 don't touch. Start here and end here. Because what's happening is, this petal is below Below that, this is the petal, these petals are above, above some other petals. So you are drawing the petals which are below yeah. the upper ones. Yeah. So if you draw, if you remove the upper petal, then this becomes a full petal here, okay? But you can't see it because this is hiding, the upper petal is hiding the lower petal. So you should draw full petals, but in such a way that you don't see the this part, okay? Because the upper petal is hiding it. Now, how, where you should start? You should start here and end it here. Okay. Right. Right. Oh, wow. Now, what you do? Slowly arrange all the nice. lines here drawn. Okay. okay. You can arrange the outer circle as well. Okay, sir.
what you can draw is you, you put small circles here small circles few small circles inside okay small ones no they should be dark they should be dark Mm. Some part like this. Okay. Okay. Now what you can do is dark outside the small circles. Mm. Now you should understand if uh, there is one petal above the other petal. it forms a shadow here you see you see yes. a shadow here on this petal yes. yeah. this is having full light and this is having half light yes this is having a shadow so all the petals down below are having darker, darker. Here. here so you should dark here okay only no only at this edge like this okay okay all the back petals slowly slowly don't too fast Don't be in a hurry. Okay. Now, here, why did you do this one? This is the pattern, which is above. So you have to draw here, not there. so all the petals which are above should be light in color light. okay okay now if i want see when you arrange these lines have gone off so you tick this once now okay. drop properly you got a very good flower right now okay draw all the lines where it has got arrest okay like this. Okay. sharp it sharp it. no 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 at the edges where you arrest there it has gone off okay you can sharp it slowly slowly dark and those lines yes. What you can do is on this here, on the la petals which are above okay. the upper petals, the tips can be slightly darkened like this. The tips, okay. Okay. This is a mistake. Wait, wait. Only the petals which are above. So look, it should be towards the center. it should it is not across the like the not like cross like this it should be towards the center center okay those lines should be towards the center yes yes slowly slowly here as uh, here okay. see if i draw a petal like this you see actually all the petals are in such a way that the pattern is Inside, slowly, if you draw, it will give you a very good look. Okay, here also should be parallel, parallel to the border. Border. Okay. You can slightly join these also. It will give you. Okay. Now. If you want to draw the stem, then you can draw. Okay. Okay. This is. 
right? Yes. You want to draw a leaf? Yes. What you should do? You should draw a line, curved line. Okay. okay. Curved line. Curved line. Then what you should do? The tip of the leaf is narrow. Narrow. It's like this in this shape. So, first you, what you draw is, you draw a oval kind of shape like this. Understood? Understood. This is narrow. As it comes, it borrowed bit deeper, far away from this line, and then again nearer to that line. You draw the other half. Slowly, slowly. Okay. 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 Photosynthesis is the process where, where the plant makes its own food with the help of what? Sunlight. Sunlight. Carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide and water. And water. Carbon dioxide comes from the air. Air. Round. Okay. Around. Around. Sunlight comes from the sun. The sun. Where does the water come from? Water comes from these veins. Okay. The veins. First it comes from the uh, stem and then it goes to the leaf. To the leaf. Okay. Uh, you want to draw? You want to color them? Yes. Okay. Which color do you want to use? Red. Okay. I can't find it. What you should do is, when you are doing, you should use a light color first. Okay? okay? The tip should be light color. The center of the flower is dark color, dark in color. Why? Because it is the, it is narrower because narrower. so the light doesn't come there much so you should have dark colors in center and lighter colors at the edge so what is the lighter version of this one you can use this pink okay only the edges you use only at the edges okay like this only at the edges so, As I said, this line should be towards the center, like this. Okay? okay. Towards the center. Draw properly and neatly. You know. Finish. Okay. Okay. Now you can leave some of the whiteness here because it can be treated as reflection. Because what happens do you see you see surfaces here? Yes. Wherever there is an curvature, then it is having a white white, white kind of light. A light. Okay. Light. This is darker, this is darker. Now okay. if you see this one. See. See this one? Along this curve. This is having light. light. This is darker and this is darker. This is dark. So the middle part where it is curved, it is having light. light. So you can leave it as white. And you can draw what? Red here. Red. You should leave only a, only a small part as light, not the major part, okay? okay? Now what you can do is, you can take in another color, even a lighter color and add straight lines here like this.
Okay. Okay. Now what you can do? See, if you have drawn these lines to be lighter, then it should it would have given a very good picture. But since you have drawn very dark, what happened? It is not looking it is like not a real flower. Like real. Okay. Now go for a dark one dark here. One. Draw green here. Slow. Mm. Take the light. Draw the light green here. Here. Mm. Okay. Now, if I wish to erase, will it erase? No. Okay. Now you want to draw again? Yes. Or we will close it. We will close it but we will see what is the difference between a circle and a sphere. Okay. Okay. These are circles. Circle is nothing but it is on a plain paper. Plain. Give an example. Sphere example. Example. Give an example of a circle. Sphere in your daily life. Yeah. Sphere. You are playing with it yesterday. Yes. What is that? It's it's a ball. Ball. Uh -huh. Circle is on paper. Sphere is where? Sphere is on is having G a shape. Okay. Shape. It's having a volume. Volume. Okay. So what happens is you can make a circle as a sphere if you can draw a shadow to it. Shadow. Okay. Shadow on a darker side to it. Like this. Finish. So where is the light coming from here? The light is coming from the right side. Draw the arrow. Okay. So when it is light is coming from this side, it is having a shadow on the shadow other on side, the left other side. side, left side. And if the darker side is on the left side as well. Now if I want to draw, see, I'll draw a circle here. Make it a sphere when the light is falling from the left side. We should put the shadow in the right side. Hmm, right. Shadow on the darker side as well. Uh -huh. Even more, see. You can draw until here. I will tell you tomorrow what is contour, okay? Okay. In the next class. But until now, you should draw like this, okay? No sharp boundaries. Okay. okay. Now, draw the shadow. No, 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 no. The shadow, if it is light coming from here, see, the light still falls here, okay? So, this ball, the shadow should be here in these lines. Okay. Okay. It should be somewhat curved, okay? Yeah. And since this is a flat floor, okay, yes. this part should not be existing. This should be like this. We will draw those basics and all of 3D shapes afterwards. But when the light is coming from one side, the darker side is on the opposite, opposite side and the shadow side. is also on the opposite, opposite side. side. Now, I want to make this triangle as a, this is called a prism, okay? Yes. If I want to make into a 3D volume, what I do? Do like this. Okay. It's in the shape of a tent. Okay. What you do? You draw a 
parallel line here. Parallel no, no, here. here. This parallel line here. Okay? And join these two join with this. the line. You draw it here. Slowly, slowly. Not too fast. Now what you should do, you draw a same length same line, line parallel to here. Here, somewhere here. No, okay. No, no, no. It should be parallel. Parallel until long. It should not be straight. It should okay. be parallel. We should join. Hmm. Join this. This is nothing but a parallelogram. Okay? Yes. Okay, this is nothing but a parallelogram. parallelogram. A parallelogram and a triangle. triangle. This makes a 3D shape. 3D shape. Now if the light is falling from this side. If the light is falling from this side, where will be the shadow here? Shadow on which side? This side. Hmm. Darken it. Lightly. Not too much. Lightly. Okay. Now if I want to make this prism as a house, how can I do? You draw two straight lines here. Okay, join them. This line should be parallel to this line. Okay, this line. It should be parallel to this line. Okay, now you draw another line here. But not as long as this should be the same length, but it should stop here. Okay. Okay. Should, this is a straight line, you should stop here because this line is the other side of trapezium okay. which is a slant line, it is not a straight line. Okay. So you should join these two. You got a house. Yeah. Okay. Even here, the other side is with a shadow. Shadow. Okay. Hmm. Now draw a door. You should draw it properly. You are not drawing it properly. See this. Uh, draw a window. You can draw a shadow here. Finish. Okay. Okay. Now, if I want to draw it, you want to close it now? Yes. Okay. Then, okay, this will be the first class, and next class we will be starting and doing some other basics and try to learn a few drawings for the primary school, maybe below fifth standard. Thank you.